hours. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to my Outlooper run. Okay, so it's the middle of the night. Just trying to remember where I was up to when I uh, left this run from record recording just a little bit over a week ago now. The I've tended to be recording on the weekends and then put the episodes up offset during the week. Seems to be working out okay. Now, sounds like I have a sprained ankle. Halfway through recovering that. It's the middle of the night and it's still actually a little bit warm. I think before I left I talked about trying to harvest up these guys. Uh, I've harvested one of them, I think. Let me just check who's who. Ooh, you have meat. You have meat. We're going to do you by a fire. Okay. we got some fresh rabbit there. Got plenty of firewood. Now, the risk of ending up being a little bit boring. I think I'm just going to sleep a little bit longer while it's still a little bit warm in here. So, I think we will... What will we chance? I think we'll just eat a couple of cattails. Alrighty, so as always I'm generally trying to preserve as much fuel as possible so I sleep until it's cold enough to need a fire. So we've got five degrees there, so and we've got few calories. I think I'll try and sleep for three hours and I think we'll get away with that. Hopefully it doesn't temperature drop too much in that time. I think we've timed it fairly well. It feels like it's just on the cusp of a temperature change. Sounds like the wind out there is going. So oh, yeah. Anything right now. It hasn't dropped exactly yet but We're at 100% condition by the looks of it, which is great. Uh, so we don't need to sleep so much for the condition. Let's just drop by a degree. So I'm just going to try and sleep in little one hour, one hour stints. So it's kind of gambling on the fact that the temperature, even if it drops a little bit, will still be slightly warmer in the bedroll. And we'll get away with it for an hour at a time without having a huge drop over an hour and losing so much condition that we get, you know, that we die or get hypothermia. So now it's minus one again. Sleep for one more hour. If I was lower on condition, I might gamble two hours at a time. But, you know, we don't need the stacking of time in a row. The downside of this is I do think this might wear out the bedroll more, more quickly at least. Let me have a look how the condition is going. So that's 70%. So I don't know if sleeping for like a 10 hour period in the bedroll wears it out less than 10 one hour times. I don't know if it really works like that. Alright, so we'll just try and sleep for one more hour. Get us to close to dawn. It'll still be the coldest part of the day, so, you know, we can... I mean, if we get through warm enough, that's fine, but if, you know, we can still light a fire because we need to cook up stuff. So now it's minus three. We're actually fairly rested. Now, what have I got on me in the way of firewood? Little bits and pieces. So I think now is when I'm going to do my cooking and harvesting. Now there are tricks you can do with like finding where the coldest part of the cave switches over and putting a fire on one side and you on the other. I don't think we need to bother with that right at the moment but it's a good trick for when you've not got much fuel and need the fire to burn efficiently and you get the most warmth out of it but for now, I think we'll just do this pretty straight up. Come on. 
I'm on your fire. So I've been uh, following Turkey's Adeloper run that he's got going at the moment. That didn't work. And uh, he seems to be going quite well up until when I'm recording this, which is good. And uh, Loon's Loon has uh, been doing a sleep walker run. And he's, uh, he's actually been going with a few different tactics than what he was doing early on. Uh, and uh, he's kind of been citing myself in uh, Turkey as like uh, trying to get him to change tactics for not carrying so much on, bait around and stuff. And he seems to be having success with it. Um, I will say though, he was... For a guy who was carrying around a, a lot of a lot of flesh, he was he was his gameplay tactic was working pretty well for him. Um, I mean, personally, I found it kind of kind of stressful to 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 watch because uh, I'm so used to walking around and not having the wolves chasing after me. But uh, he was he was actually managing to do it pretty well. And, uh, but now he's, he's kind of stopped that, and I hope that, you know, he doesn't lose some of the magic of however he was managing to make that work in the first place, but, uh, you know, he seems to be enjoying himself, which is good. And, uh, I am um, trying to think a little bit about what's going to happen with this run. And so we are a few days in. So four days there, two days by this metric. Oops, let's just go back to the the bag here. The clothes have gone along all right. We're not. We haven't got a huge amount of temperature there, but you know, we've got a ear wrap. We still haven't got any gloves though. See, I think Turkey's running around without gloves either. I think we're going to be in a race to see who finds the gloves first. I suspect he'll beat me. Um, other things we have in our inventory, oh, obviously, we you know, we have, we got this magical thing. Turkey doesn't have one of these. Not right now, anyway. Spoiler alert. Um, I got lucky and found that one in Hush Rivet Valley. I've only got two cloth, though. A couple of bits of scrap metal. Oh, yeah, that's right, we have that heavy, heavy jerry can full of stuff. I know where I'm going to put that. So, I kind of got two options, the way I see it, for how to try and make this Adelooper run work. I need to find a hammer um, and try and forge pretty quickly. So I think what I'm going to do, oh, you know what, I should be actually making a little bit better use of this fire instead of just talking so much, but um, 16 minutes until ready. Can I get off you? 11 minutes with the hacksaw, let's do it. So yeah, I need to I need to find the hammer. Now I've got a couple of options of kind of how that might work out. So I need to probably try the farm house here, which is pretty wolfy, and try and get my way in there and just check the barn. If I find the hammer there, I might just make a move down the Milton Basin right then and there. Um, let me just drop this. you. How much should I get off you? 500. You can go there. Um, go down into Milton Basin and then into Fall On and do my forging. Well, the other option is if I don't find the hammer at the farm is I probably should go to Mystery Lake and try and find the hammer there. Yeah, I'm going to check times on things. Okay, we got time. I wasn't doing it that way. Um, so I think that's the, the two ways I should play this out. And it really does come down to whether or not that that hammer is at the farm or not. Time to 
the day, is it? Cool. Anything else? Nothing else we can tear down. Uh, let's accelerate to get that. Pick up some more water. Four minutes. Uh, past time on that. Twenty-five minutes. We need to add some more. Seem to remember thinking I was going to add that. Now. I'm just trying to preference getting the hides of these for some of my construction of things like gloves maybe I mean, that's a bit of a priority I might not find one for a while so um, 23 minutes on that now I got 12 coal it's quite a lot of coal I'm gonna drop one on there because I'm gonna have to lose a little bit of weight shortly anyway so we've got an hour we got a little bit of time on that Still not quite anywhere near the middle of the day. Um, I mean, I've got some gut curing here, some more pelt. I pulled the guts off these. It's not my favorite place in the world for me to have. I think I'll go for faster. For me to have, you know, gut curing in here. Because um, I'm going to have to double back quite a, quite a ways to, to get it, etc. But I'm going to need a bunch to craft with, and I don't really want to carry it across Milton. I don't think that's... 44. You know, I don't think that's going to be super... super sensible. So I will leave the guts and... I'll bring the hides with me. They can cure up in um, maybe that little office by the the root climb mm. 4 4 is that another stick or two are you worth cooking or are you hmm let's we'll see if we got some time on this once that's done So once we finish cooking up here and making all our water, how much we got time? 20 minutes. Can we cook? What do we need? What do we need? Got two painkillers and two. Yeah. You know what? When in doubt, make something that's going to help me get through the sprains. I think that's going to be a bigger priority. 12 minutes, 15 minutes, 7 minutes. What's that weather doing out there? Pick that up. Take that. Pick that can up. Alright, so first things first. Yeah. Eat that. Eat another one of those. Okay, now. Have I... I don't want to carry that. That could have been a big mistake. Alright. Oh, should I have been taking torches? Nah. We're okay. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, we got a lot of fuel, really, didn't we? Which is probably good, because we might need it in a few other places, but... It's going to... We dropped so much coal over there too. Yeah. I'll eat that as well. Okay. Bring that. Oh man. That's so much coal. 
leave another piece there. I'll leave some of the coal. Ooh. We'll need it more where we're going than we will need it to be here, so. Alright. Now, got a couple of rocks. Let's just check how the temperature's doing out here. Yeah, it's kind of cold, but mostly in the wind, so. See if we can. Oh, that's not sh shelters as it pretended it was. Yeah, why not? It sticks. So today's episode is also brought to you by beer. So I've had some beer this afternoon, and um, I'm not going to lie, I think it uh, is probably affecting my ability to play this game, or at least make sense while I play this game. Um, but we'll wing it, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully this weather doesn't get any worse while we try and make this little journey. Definitely have no decoys. Definitely have no weapons. I really we're all weapon we have on us. It is well it's not even a weapon, it's a, our only defense really is being able to light a fire, which we won't be able to do if it gets much windier than this. Did we... see we don't have a flare or anything. Just trying to have ourselves a little sticky beak. And to listen. I can only hear the snow falling on the ground. There's a wolf that can be all up, a, all up in this area, so... Not terribly keen to hang around here too long. Okay. Can't feel my hands. Hmm. Well, I found a little stick explosion area. Despite all the random crap we're carrying, we're actually still a little bit underweight. Got three and a half kilos worth of lamp fuel, but you know, still not heavy. Now, I'm just gonna duck here. There's other times I've been here, there's been a wolf just around the corner. And I did hear a couple howling down this way. But you know, often we can just skirt around them. Now, did I have... I did not have any... Oh, there's, a, there's a wolf just over there and amongst the logs, so yeah, we'll be cautious. There's no deer for me to scare towards him. But we definitely need some of this. Now that doesn't even... Where does that show up? It only shows up. Can't even craft any yet. Where does that show up in... Okay, cool. So still we need to be on the lookout for some more, but it's just over here. Where do I just see it? Uh, here. Mm, is there two there? Okay. Alright. Let's 
So our little journey here is just to go as wide around this as we can. Keep an eye on that. Those two wolves and just stay out of their way. Skirt around the back of the petrol station. I don't even think we'll try the cars there yet. We might try the little... I mean, I'd call it a ute. Being an Australian, short for utility vehicle. You guys might call it a pickup if you're in the US or something else if you're somewhere else. Hmm, frostbite risk, that'll be it on our exposed hands that don't have gloves yet. We shouldn't muck around out here too much. How is that frostbite risk? It's kind of low. I don't, I don't really think there's anything interesting to find down here, but we're so close to it, so can't really get in anywhere. Can't get in the truck, bus, sorry. Hmm. Just checking that I didn't do silly things like leave a bedroll behind or anything like that. Like I said, I've had some beer. The uh, ability to concentrate is potentially a little bit addled. There is a wolf right in my way. He is eating a deer, however. I hope you're nearly done with that deer. Keep the rabbit between me and the wolf as well. Can I get down here safely? Yeah. I really don't think I've seen a wolf. Of course I get a sprain. I think sometimes it post dates it again. You sprinted five seconds ago. And just as you stop, it's like, no, nah, I'm going to give you a sprain for that. Yeah, I'm not really sure I've seen a wolf take down a deer right there before. I probably could try and chase him off with a fire, but... And get the meat, but... Mm, and the hide. It's a bit windy. Um, not feeling it. Let's pick up all of these. Alright, get in here. See what we've got. Still see that wolf right from here. Alright. So, first things first. Drop all of the things that need curing. Probably going to. Yeah, I kind of want you to be somewhere more visible. Um, just drop this heavy thing. So, this might be a little, not necessarily a base of operations, but, you know, potentially just a little sort of axis point, cause, because of how I'm. I'll either run, if I find the hammer at the farm and go down to fall on musk egg, um, I'll probably do all the crafting and then I'll come back through Mystery Lake and come back uh, through the cave at Trappers Canyon to here anyway. And if I go the other way, I'll have to come back through here because I'll, uh, if I go through Mystery Lake first, and then I'll come back and potentially craft at the farm 
and have all my stuff curing here and be potentially sleeping here. So either way, this might become a little bit of an axis and I can get to it easy enough. And I do have a bedroll, so you know, I can sleep in the caves and stuff. So no, there really was nothing here, was there? It was just, am I missing something? I think what I'm going to do is just sleep for two hours and that should wash off the sprain and maybe get rid of... Will that be warm enough? Will that be warm enough to get rid of... Might be warm enough to get rid of uh, the frostbite risk. Yes, just... Okay, that's good. I think I... Like I said, I think we're going to be coming back this way. And this might be a little bit of a base, so... Kind of fine. Leaving some stuff here. everything else I want with me, so those are curing, alright, still going to be a rabbit skin short for some gloves, but okay, so there is a ravaged carcass down there, might still have some stuff on it, I won't touch it yet. There's the wolf making his way away from it. Just finished eating. Hmm. So hopefully it's reasonably wolf free at the farm. I don't really like my chances of that being true, but you, know, you can try and be optimistic. Hey, 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 go the other way. I want you to I want you to go and make friends with the neighbours. You don't want to play nice. Couple more stones. Are we off for cattails? Yeah. Said, I'll probably loot back through this area, so I don't need to be too crazy with looting all of these cattails. But you know, same with a couple of these. So there's deer over there in the yard. Lots of creaking in the trees. There's our fur friend. 
and it's windy so fire is going to be tricky there's a rabbit over there got more fur friends down this way Wind's pretty bad. Just wondering about trying to chase one of these deer towards him just to create a distraction. Just want to get into that shed for the smallest amount of time. I still won't have to fight too hard for it. Don't go that way. Oh, I need to find food. Go the wrong way. Right. Oh man, this wind. Let's get a Just checking some stuff over here. Hmm. So there's a guy, so there's a guy who looks like he got caught in the hay baling machine. Maybe that's in story mode. <gasps> Oof. Hang on, we're here, so we'll grab these. Okay. Let's just see if we can... make this work in our favour. Don't want that deer to get sprung too close to that shed though. Hey guys, have you seen that wolf? Where is it? Let me just... Oh man, there's a suicidal rabbit over there. Right by the tractor as well. Where did you go? Come on. It get cold out here. And now I just think I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, so he's over by the truck. We go that way. Oops, you know he's seen that guy. Nothing there. might just light this, just in case he's thinking he's after me. He's after the rabbit, but I don't want him to detect him. It's a bit close now. Kind of wasted a match there. I hope this doesn't go out. That didn't work. Let's do this properly. This will help us warm up anyway. Come on, little fire. Okay, so we just add a few sticks. We might need to lure him in here and scare him off. Okay, so this was a bit of a bust. He's pretty close out there, I think. They say I hate being cold. So what do, do. So is he chasing off after something else now? Where'd you run off to? Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I feel like I've made this harder than it needs to be. Well, oh, he's running off after that deer up there. Alright, so he's caught that. Cloth, piece of cloth. Ah, oh, damn. So he should be a little bit occupied with that for the moment. What do you got for me? The key. I don't want the key. I don't need the key. It's going to stay with us for a while. Well. Can you get off this? Anything? Nothing to harvest. So I think this means we're going to have to go to Mystery Lake. Um. Don't really want to hang around while that wolf sorts out what he's doing, so... Yeah, I think Mystery Lake's going to be the... Where is he? He's back up there somewhere. Um, I think we're going to take the cold damage and just try and make our way back. I don't see the... There might be a hammer at Fallen Musk Egg, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to chance it, so I think I'll... So so rather try Mystery Lake first. What we might do is just go back to that camp office for just a slight... small sleep. Just make sure we're not too heavy and then go down into that little rope climb area. Can you get up this way? Hmm. What to do? So many deer in this town. Half of them have been wolf dinner already. So, I mean, this is a okay place to sort of set up shop a little bit in an outerloper run, I think. Like, you know, sleeping in this... Um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a little camp office. It's like a little tourist office. It's got a real name. I've never learnt it. Um, here, a tree stump. Uh, sleeping in here and going down and doing a little sporadic crafting down in the barn. The only... You know, the wolves get scared off by the fire in the barrel there, which is okay. Um, it's much easier to do it there once you're uh, already armed with... You know, arrows and a bow um, because you can take out the wolves and thin them and keep it safe um, but yeah you keep, there's a bit of a temptation to craft through the night there and I think that'll drop an aurora on you and then the aurora wolves comes around, come around and I don't think they're very scared of an aurora and they're not scared of much so you kind of got nowhere to go at that point but uh, yeah I've done it So it's just going to take up weight and we'll drink it. What are we carrying here? So we're still light. I did grab a lot of birch. I'm going to drop it here. Just need to remember it's here. I think all that firewood can stay. We've got we got options. Pick up some more sticks on the way. But yeah, for the moment, we'll just... 
sleep for two hours. It will probably be dark. If the weather doesn't turn on us, hopefully. If the weather's kind of crappy, we can still make that rope climb and get to the cave in the middle. It'll probably be alright. That's not Aurora, that's the sunset. Cool. Man, I could eat anything. Kinda cold, mostly wind. a wolf still lives down there since they updated for story mode it used to always be a wolf but then the update came along and I'm not sure I've seen one here since oh, I hear a howl but is that down in the basin or is it here Either way, let's send a scouting party. Hey rabbit, go find a wolf. Go, go that way. Cool. There's another one. I mean, they could be dinner tonight, but... You know, I... There is a wolf. Hey. He does still live here. Uh, he lives in a much more inconvenient spot than before. Hmm. Let's just get out of the wind in the meantime. It isn't an aurora, is it? Okay, cool. I need something to eat. Have some water instead. We'll feed you soon. Alright. So that's good to know that that wolf still lives down here. crouching and going right into the wind. So I think, yeah, at the end of his path there, he would have been at a distance to spot us, I reckon. So yeah, it's good we waited. It's good we had the warmth to be able to afford to wait. Wow. It's a levitating trick. Nothing. Soda. Back of matches. Probably leave that wood there. Probably leave this coal here too. I feel like we should have enough stamina and weight to make this little climb up here. Or over half. I don't remember it being a very big climb, so I think we'll be okay. Let's 
this wind. There's something. Alright. Hey, frostbite risk. Alright. I feel like we're climbing slow. Is the wind blowing downwards? Come on. You have frostbite risk. I don't want to... Uh, it's still small, but come on. Suck in the big breaths, come on. Party in there at the moment. Frostbite risk, hypothermia risk. Get ourselves a couple of sprains just to get the band back together. Come on. Yeah, it's creeping up. Yeah, see, so we're encumbered now. Alright, come on. So, yeah, I picked up a few more subscribers during the uh, during the last couple of weeks, up to a grand total of like 10 or 11, and thank you everyone who's has subscribed and jumped on and enjoying some of the videos, the nice comments and stuff people have been leaving, which has been fantastic. You know, I think I mainly did this recording of this. Just more as a way to you know, share and interact with the rest of the long dark players and I mean a large part of it was probably laziness on my behalf of I was kind of writing down all the things I was doing on the Hinterland forums but you know, that's actually a bit of a bit of a task in itself. Um I'll leave the rest because I think we're okay for food at the moment. I'll I definitely will loop back through this way, treating it a bit of a figure eight way, I think. So, um, but yeah, so recording videos is just a little bit more of a way of starting interacting with some of the other long dark players out there that I, you know, maybe have been commenting on your videos and commenting on your threads on the forum and a little bit just wanted to try it out and see how it would go and see if I could do it okay so it's a little bit dark in the cave but not too bad oh, that's pretty bad I'm gonna try that thing where I sleep for a couple of hours and see if the light improves enough to make it through the through the cave. If your night vision kicks in, otherwise we'll just sleep the whole night. This way, so I remember. No. Oh, it's not even gonna let me. Yeah, so we'll just sleep for four hours. Probably could have just slept for the whole eight or nine and got back multiple amounts of condition, but 
think we're going to have to anyway, because I don't think the vis I think this is one of those caves that's probably more visible during the day than during the night. Uh, let's try and do this properly then. I'm just going to drink that soda. We're going to need the weight more, you know, sooner rather than later. I think they just sort of end up taking up more. Um, Hmm. I'll still stick on the uh, cattail diet for the moment. Just trying to think. I don't think we have a can opener yet, do we? I think when you watch a whole bunch of other people play, you get sometimes you haven't played your game for a little while. You tend to. I think that looks like an aurora out there. Hang on. Did it get lighter in here? It really didn't, did it? I don't want to waste the match. Alright. Try and sleep for another 8 hours. Starting to get worried. That's down. Yeah, that's dropping fast. We're going to need to find serious cloth soon. Um, good news is it's, man, it's complete daylight in this cave. Is there another piece of coal somewhere there? See, so we're going to have to repair that bedroll. Not only is it going to lose condition, it's going to be a cold bedroll, which you know, makes things tricky in its own way. We're going to need a couple of pieces of cloth for our forging, and you know, look at our clothes. Like, you know, I don't really want to repair like, like those two things. This thing takes two bits of cloth. Man. Yeah. So apart from getting Apart from getting the, the hammer, if we can find it. Might need to visit all those fishing huts. Just in the off chance we can find... You know, just a few more pieces of cloth. I mean, if we found one of those, out, another outdoor bedroll... Oh, can you... Can you imagine how rich we would feel? It's a very empty cave. Come on, cave, prove me wrong. Check out the weather is going out here. It's foggy, warm enough for my purposes right now. Let's wander around out here and see if we think it's getting foggier or less foggy. Okay, so there's a deer carcass over there. I don't think we'll pull that just yet. We could do that now. Um, that would give us a bit of a f bit of food for now. We could get the skin going in that cave. Get another piece of gut going in that cave. That's a really convenient spot. I just really want to. Just really want to push on and. Uh, 
check for a few items. I feel like we'll... Hmm. Because if I do that deer, I really would like to do a couple of rabbits at the same time. Yeah, okay. I think we're just going to set up a curing shop in that cave. And in that curing shop, we are going to try and do... some of our glove and hat making materials. Hey fella. Sorry about that. I need you for my hands. Oh, there was another rabbit somewhere around here. for the moment. Where did so. you go? There were two. I swear there were two. I heard it. I heard some scamper. Where are you? Yeah, where are you? I'm in the wind. Seriously, ninja rabbit. All right. So yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled for bears and wolves. That's why we're carrying this stuff. There's one over there in the little... Ooh, Deer Valley, maybe? Okay, so it's got a few boxes of matches now, which is good because we were starting to be a little bit wasteful. Just when we threw away all of our lamp oil, left it, left it behind. See, I think my tactic in modes like Outer Loper and you know the couple of times I've played Dead Man and stuff like that, and even on the faster. The faster runs I try and move quickly in interlopers. I don't sort of have one base, I just sort of have these little through traffic areas where um where I know I'm gonna cycle back to and I just tend to leave stuff curing there rather than try and carry it with me or you know, risk moving it to places. Just places I know I'm gonna come back to. Okay, so um that is the thing that's fast to get. That is a very, very small amount of meat. Probably 
probably should just do this at the moment. 32 minutes an hour on that. Um, the hide is going to be way slower. Even those, I think, they take 40 minutes. So it's still okay. Just pull the gut off now. I'm just going to straight up eat that now. Um, 40, no, I'm just going to chuck some sticks on there anyway. Oh, I'm going to chuck a piece of cedar on actually. Pull the hide. front and I feel like it should just cook. Let's pull a kilo off that and cook that kilo. Thirty eight, forty seven, nineteen, add a couple of sticks. Thirty minute. So let's go to the thirty minute version. left. Just going to cook up this other uh, bigger piece of meat. Forty-five, twelve. Throw another piece of cedar for the moment. That weather sounds like it's going to try and turn on us, make it hard for us to do stuff this afternoon. Oh, what do we still got? What do we have on this? Just uh, do that piece. Then you try twenty-five. More guts. No, it's actually the hide. It's really the hide I want off this guy. More glove material. If I run out of time to do anything... Fifty minutes left. Pull the hide. So I would drink almost anything about now. Well, let's just sort that out. I'll let that fire go out for the moment, I think. I'm not really gonna like torch travel or anything, but ah, uh, you know what, look. Uh don't really want to waste coal on that, but Pick up some more sticks in a minute. It's gonna. That's a tiny piece, but it was just for the cooking skill more than anything. Let's just eat that. Alright. I'm just gonna eat those. 
don't really tend to play the starvation game that much. Uh, especially when my condition's already kind of high, I, you know. Right. Let's make a run for the cave. Yeah, see look at that wolf up there, he smelt us. He made a real beeline because we got some stink on. He's heading for the hut where he saw us last. Ooh, and it came in foggy. So we'll just jump in here. I'll we'll jump in here and I think this is going to be our episode. And uh, in the next episode I think we're going to try and get... I'm going to try and get to that lookout. Um, what have I got here? I got a fresh deer hide. Fresh guts. Whole bunch of birch. Drop all. Two more rabbit pelts. Now, what we will do in here. Pull the guts by hand on two of these. Oh, drop that. Drop the guts. So we shouldn't have anything stinky on us now. Everything we need to leave here is left here. We are completely out of sticks. So we'll need to get sticks. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just jump outside the cave and jump back in the cave to save. Um, and then we will see you in the next episode. Bye.